I haven't done anything illegal. Good morning, everyone. This video was sent to my son, San Joaquin Jr., and is an exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Why did this man send my son this video? The man recording the video served in the military as well as my son. When he seen my son, San Joaquin Jr., doing videos that involves the military, he felt my son would understand, which he did. I would like to add that I don't hand over my supporters just for the heck of it. A man must always pull his own weight. A man must at least put in the effort in order to get a shout out from me. I believe he is doing that. Here's a text message between him and I so you know what I mean. It reads, with my text reading in blue, Press on, drop your link in his pinned comment pretty cool. He says, yeah, he helped my video out a lot. Holy shit, almost to 500 subs. I tell him, that's nothing. This is coming fast for you, meaning the sub count, not what the amazing one of the people did for him. People in the community are noticing that you're doing this mostly on your own. If I was the one sending you the videos to work on, mirroring every video, and giving you repeated shout outs, you wouldn't get the respect within the community. I see that they're asking you questions. They will hold you accountable if you make mistakes. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes but not to repeat them. Your content so far is educational, quick and to the point, edgy as fuck, and comes with some military experience. These are qualities that people are noticing, including me. Keep up the work, dude. Watch the magic happen. And he goes on to thank me. In this video, my son gives his assessment and gives us the good news that this officer was relieved of his duties. This took place in Williston, Florida. The state's attorney's office said they'd no longer take any of his cases. Hence, he could no longer be a patrol officer again in the state of Florida. One thing I'd like to add is that the chief of police, as well as the mayor of Williston, Florida, are also in hot water because of this incident, as well as others just like it, as you'll see at the end of this video. The man involved tells my son that because of me and my channel he understands his civil rights i gotta tell you guys what an honor it is for someone to speak highly of me to one of my family members this man is a 58 year old veteran with awards and a presidential citation i just called rights crispy on the phone and he said he'd do a follow-up audit soon to keep the pressure on the williston police and to make sure they do the right thing and get rid of him for good check out the video that's on san joaquin jr's channel subscribe to that channel and let him know San Joaquin Sr. sent you. Let me say this really quick before I send you guys to watch the video. When veterans unite and get involved in the preservation of our human rights and civil liberties, it is very clear who the Oath Keepers are in America. Thank you to each one of the patriots mentioned in this video, as well as everyone else who has served this country. Thank you. Here's the video, folks. Check it out. Good morning, everyone. San Joaquin Jr. here. Yesterday, a video was sent to me by a fellow veteran and one of my subscribers that shows a police officer assaulting him because he is practicing his First Amendment right. This happened July 3rd, 2020. The officer has since been relieved of his duty. I want to shed light on this case for a couple reasons. First, knowing your rights is essential when practicing them. Second, always record the police and don't stop if they try to bully you. This video reaffirms that advice. It frustrates me to see this happen to a fellow veteran, but it also brings me satisfaction seeing that this garbage police officer got fired. Hopefully it stays that way, but this is the USA, so he might have been hired by a department near you. You guys smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Sitting there still, motor running. Wasting gas and taxpayers dollars Just gonna sit there and hide from everybody instead of doing their fucking job This is why people have such a major issue with the police It's because they're so two-faced and non-transparent and full of crap You tell them you need help they come and arrest you Meanwhile, if they're not gonna come and arrest you, then they're gonna sit there on their ass and do absolutely nothing and collect good money for it. That's the way they are. This is Williston, Florida. Kilowatt. What a joke. What a joke. The worst to police department there is. Gonna sit in here and just do nothing. That's great. Just gonna sit there. Just gonna sit there and stare at me too. He got a lot of nerve. He's not even ashamed of what he's doing. Just sitting there. Doing nothing. What a disgusting group of individuals. And you can say I'm sitting here doing paperwork all you want, but we all know that's a bunch of crap. If they were doing paperwork, They'd probably either be in the office or somewhere they can watch what's going on around them instead of his view being completely blocked off. All he can see is straight ahead. I'm going to tell you right now, that is a not a bright cop. 
I don't know how the hell he got to be a cop. Well, yeah, I do. Probably got knee pads. It's a shame, though. That's where our money goes. We, we're paying for that right there. And what do they make? Probably about 112000 a year, somewhere in there. I have to go and get a FICA for his salary and see if he's under any investigation. I haven't done anything illegal. You're trespassing. No, I'm not, officer. Yes, you are. Hey, don't do not do that. That's against the law. What's against the law? You grabbing me. Don't touch me. I do not want to be touched by you. Put your phone in. Get your... No, sir. Give me your ID. I don't need to do that. This is a free country. Don't it's grab my country? phone. Yes, sir, it is. It's supposed to be. 551. I haven't done anything illegal. I'm not trespassing. Yes, in order are. to be That's trespassed, the owner of the property has to say, get off of it. Did he say anything to you? Please leave me alone. This is live on the internet right now. It is live. Then head on down the road. I'm moving, sir. Keep moving. I am moving, sir. Keep moving. I'm moving, sir. Keep moving. Tried to kick me just now. Did y'all see that? I just tried to kick you. Did you see Keep that? Moving. That's Williston Police Department live. Keep moving. Yes, John, I see that. Thank you for the comment, Trigger. You know what? Um, I'm moving. And you're live on the internet. I'm sure you don't. Trespassing, he says. <laughs> yep. Not. He just don't want to be on camera sitting over there for hours doing nothing. Fucking cop tried to grab me. That's assault. We'll be checking out the damn. We'll be checking out the damn state police for this. We have an update on a story we told you about last Friday night. A Williston police officer was relieved of his duties after being accused of police brutality. TV 20's Claudia Belafado shows us the video that is now under investigation. The man accusing Sergeant Landis of police brutality is the one who took the video, which shows what looks like a physical altercation between the two after Sergeant Landis accuses him of trespassing. The video was originally live streamed on Facebook. In the video, you can hear Sergeant Landis accusing the man of trespassing and the man behind the phone repeatedly telling the officer to take his hands off him. The man then sent that video to the leader of a local group focused on fighting for equality called Next Generation. The officer had no um, proof of him trespassing from an uh, owner or anything of the property. And he was saying that the officer was uh, swinging and he was trying to block uh, punches and stuff the best he can and he got actually kicked in his ankle and he ended up going to the hospital the next day. Eventually, the case was handed over to the Levy County Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Landis has been relieved of his duties while the situation is under investigation. Meanwhile, members of the Williston community have been posting more videos on social media showing Sergeant Landis getting in physical situations with other individuals. Currently, we'll be focusing on just the one event that occurred on July the 3rd. Uh, not saying that those other events won't uh, bring in some additional light on the situation, I don't know. Um, obviously, if, uh, if we had an official complaint brought by a citizen, that we investigate that complaint uh, thoroughly. Levy County Sheriff's Office say they have no comment as this is an ongoing criminal investigation. We'll have all the updates for you on our website, WCJB.com. Claudia Belafato, TV 20 News. Before you go and subscribe to San Joaquin Jr., I would like to remind you, the supporter, of the important role you play in all of this. Without you, this officer would not have been relieved of his duties. Someone that was watching the man's Facebook live stream made the complaint that ultimately led to this accountability action. Thank you to every single one of you that offer a hand in the freedom movement. Now go subscribe to San Joaquin Jr. and let him know his dad sent you. Thank you guys. I'll see you all over there.